Uh, let's move on to without a fight. Uh, Mark Zara choosing uh, this is the horse he wants to ride in the Melbourne Cup. It has to mean something, right, Tom? Yeah, I wonder if he... Do you reckon he got booted off um, Brave Mead or did he take the choice on <laughs> him and Derby Day? Oh, look... I wish same, he, same connections. I suppose Based firstly, I don't care. But secondly, yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Either, so. um, <laughs> it was interesting. Um, he's pulled the right rein here. I, I agree. I think he... I've no huge concern. The concern is if he stays 3,200, right? That's the query. He loomed up last Melbourne Cup and he didn't run it out, but that was a wet track. Yep. Since and he was then, also ridden further forward where we've seen him just show that, that point, electronic, yeah. electric turn of foot from further back this time in as well. Hard to say he can't run 32 off what we saw in the Caulfield Cup. He ran the fastest 12, 10, 8, mm -hmm. 6, 4, 2 home in a Caulfield Cup off a brutal tempo. Mm. That's a great lead up for mine. I want to be a winner if he wins. He's my favourite horse. I think he's been good to me and um, yeah, I'm, I've got him in the top four for sure. Yeah, yeah, runs top three, um, has to be a horse that goes around a, a small win at the very least, I thought. I thought that Caulfield Cup win was also a bit arrogant. Like, he came so wide and just made a mess of so many horses. And obviously, I, I like Cox Plate form as well, uh, going into the Melbourne Cup. And, and uh, yeah, we saw Gold Trip run really well. So, um, definitely something to look at right I mean, off. The one thing I can't really understand is the discrepancy in price between Gold Trip and Without a Fight. I don't think there yeah. should be that discrepancy. Yes, at all. Without yeah. a Fight does meet Gold Trip uh, a little worse off at the weights, but and Gold Trip's done it before, but I just I, I don't think that discrepancy should be there. I think there's, there's, they've got to be rated similarly, surely. Do the punters, the recreational punters, the once a year punters put their money on Gold Trip because he won it last year? Yeah, and then but do I'd the professionals step in and say, without a fight, shouldn't be twice the price well, of... The professionals will come in at some point and, mm. and that, that discrepancy will disappear. But uh, recreational punters, yes, they might know Gold Trip. But then there's also the idea that plenty of them want to be against Gold Trip because they don't want to... They, they see that winners don't usually come back and win again. So uh, I'm sure there's a, there's a bit of much of a muchness about it or, mm. or you know, it equals the balance. Where's, where's without a fight on your... Uh, look, I had him sixth, but... Um, I, I could have uh, well. He was another one who I could easily have had had top three. It was just uh, a case of there were others that I I liked more. Put up a price for the top five, please, Hawk, and I'll <laughs> jump on it. Okay. Thank you. Thank That's you. A barrier sixteen for the horse should uh, should bode well for him. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.